Hello everyone and welcome back to Shelter 2 and we are here with Dove and her two remaining kittens Amber and Acorn who are currently what is that is that just them moving around I think so uh, but yeah uh, they are currently doing pretty well we've been finding a lot of food actually yeah, Amber has been absolutely incredible at finding uh, finding eggs and Acorn is proving not to be a bad hunter they're both doing very very well and so far so good everything seems to be going fine uh, other than the chaos that we had in the last, uh, or at the very beginning of this litter, everything seems to be going a lot better. And, uh, I don't want to get complacent, but I think things might be alright. Oh, man! Not only did we just run headfirst into the rock, and actually that looked like it kind of hurt, but, um, oh, what did it do? There we go. <laughs> um, that did look like it kind of hurt, but we caught it right before it was about to leave. Oh, no, I don't want to eat. I want you guys to- Oh, they found- Okay, then I will eat. They found more eggs. <laughs> There's just been eggs absolutely everywhere, and I don't know why. I was trying to, uh, was trying to sniff and see if we can see any bears, but I think that we should be all right. Where are we? We were headed towards the tundra, and I think we have to head down this way in order to get there because if you look here you can see it's off this way and around here and I think those are deer up there so we might be able to try and bring one down possibly oh there goes a um oh 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 they're right here what what is this music okay I think it's just normal mountains music <laughs> I thought for a minute it was the bear music because it does have those drums in it I think at least I assume that was bear music we were hearing early on, but uh, I think it's just normal mountains music, and I think we should be okay if we just keep heading this way. There is a pheasant up there. Maybe we'll try and snag this guy. These guys are nice food, and they can actually feed three kittens. Oh, and he's already gone, but maybe this rabbit we can catch. Um, but yeah. Oh, 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 bad. That, that is, that is bad news. That is a bear of bad news in the distance. Oh no, I thought we were going to be able to make it. I thought we were going to make it and it was going to be easy. But no, that is very much a bear. Is there any way around? Or anywhere to jump up either? Are we able to go down here? Oh, oh! Well, sometimes we have to go to the dinner, but sometimes dinner comes to us. Uh, but let's see. Let's look over here. Yeah, I don't think we can just go down. Definitely can't just go down. But I don't think we have to just go down. I think we need to make our way this way. I'm just afraid that if we try and go past that bear, it'll come after us. And I think the only way to get past them is to run and jump up on something. And I'm not sure we can do that. Oh, he's moving. He's moving the other way. All right, I don't see anywhere we can actually jump. But if we're careful, maybe we can just sneak by him. He's heading that way. We just have to be really cautious. And if he comes our way, I'm going to run for it. Because I don't know the lay of the land. Oh, careful, you guys. They're going to go eat. I don't know the lay of the land very well. And, oh, 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 don't do that, don't do that, don't, 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 don't do that. Okay, I thought he was coming up towards us for a moment. Alright, where's Acorn? There's more eggs up here, you guys can go eat those. Um, but I don't know the lay of the land very well. And so I want to be kind of careful about this. There's deer down there. I think we should be able to, okay. Yeah, he's down there. I think we should be able to avoid him. Probably, I think. Because uh, I'm just afraid that... Oh, oh, he's going this way. He's going this way, all right. Okay, we're going to stay up here. And stay way up here. The last thing I want is for him to come charging out of nowhere. It's so quiet. Okay. Oh, goodness. He's going right where we need to go. And I'm not sure if there's any plateaus around that we could jump up on. My concern would be, because I think they just knock you out. But my concern would be then that he would attack a kitten. 
The deer don't seem too concerned about him. The deer are coming this way. That could actually work to our favor. But I don't want to run at them when there's a bear right there. I think that's a surefire way to get attacked. Oh, he's right where we need to go. That's aggravating. <gasps> we could jump up there. It looks like, okay, he's still going that way. He's just following exactly where we need to be, isn't he? I think if there's... Oh no, those eggs are in a tree. Okay, I was gonna say, I think we can jump up on that plateau. But I don't think we actually can. And we just need to be really cautious, because if he comes this way, then we're gonna be in trouble. But we might be able to just inch our way around him here if we just very, very much hug the wall. And we might even be able to get closer to those deer. Where is he? Do I see him over there? Oh, 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 no, nope, 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 nope. I'm running away. I don't want anything to do with him. Oh, in Ottawa, the hills are yellow and red. The cubs are called to follow the path of solitude, so they're about to leave anyway. Maybe we won't even have to deal with this guy. If we could find something over here to eat, like a bird's nest, then that could solve our problems. Okay, he's going to stay down by the stream. What is that sound? If he's... Is he coming back? He might be. Oh, he's coming this way. Okay, we've got to... All right, here... Shake the tree quickly, quickly, quickly. Please deal with your food. I'm gonna sprint away. There's something over here. It's a pheasant. If we can catch it and eat it, that would be great. Because... What is this? What is this? Oh, he's back here. No! No, 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 no. Oh, he's flying away. Where's the bear? The bear is... Oh, there's deer right here. Okay, that guy's gonna leave. Well, they got food, and that's what matters. Um, but what is this? What is this? Oh, that's the bear's den, isn't it? Okay. <gasps> that's probably the bear's den. Oh, I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm going away now. I want to be as far away from that as possible. Where is the bear? I don't even see him. Oh, he's right there. Oh, oh, nope, nope, nope. I'm running away. I'm gonna run this way. Can we snag that rabbit? Yes. Oh, man. Where is... Okay, acorn. There's amber. Okay. They should both be safe. If he's coming this way, then... Oh, there's eggs over there as well. If he's going to come this way, we might be able to inch past him. I'm not going to have them go eat the, the eggs. I should have actually just eaten that rabbit because then we could replenish. Oh, there's eggs up here, actually. That's what I'm going to do is I'm going to replenish my own food up here. And hopefully this will get our stamina back up. Because these guys literally did just eat. And if we're careful... Okay, he's... That way he is heading back this way. I am pretty sure that is his den. I can't believe we were poking around over there. That was a really bad idea. Um, but if we can inch by, please go the other way, Mr. Bear. Where is he? He's right there. He's on the move. Oh, oh, that scared me. Oh, that scared me. Oh my goodness. I am so on edge right now. And oh my goodness. Is that bear music that I'm hearing? He's right across from us. Okay. That is definitely bear music. If we can get by him, please stop glitching. Now is not the time for the camera to glitch. If we can get by him... I'm scooting this way. I'm gonna give him a wide berth. Oh. Definitely bear music. Definitely bear music. Oh, no. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, the bear music has stopped. Has it? Yes, okay. We should be able to just cross right through here. Are we able to get a drink? Nope, we can't get a drink right there. Um... There's rabbits running. And if we can chase them this way, I think we'll be alright. Oh, that was close. 
and we should be just about ready to head off to or for the cubs to head off as well okay please tell me the bear the bear's off up the slope okay i see him back there that's uh not something we're gonna have to worry about oh nice job acorn acorn is definitely getting to be quite the prolific hunter herself and um amber is much getting to be much better at scavenging they're they're very different in that respect but it's still really cool um they're they're similar yet different could we have come down that slope? Oh, hey, this deer might come straight for us. Oh, I'm gonna chance it. I'm gonna chance it. I'm gonna chance it. Nope. And I missed. Okay. Well, they're heading off anyway. Oh, it's time to bid them farewell. And oh my goodness, after all we've been through, I'm so thankful that these guys have made it. Uh, we lost their siblings. It was almost, we almost lost Acorn. We almost lost Amber too. We just, it's been such a crazy, crazy time, but let's go ahead and bid them farewell. Goodbye, Acorn. I know you're good at hunting, and goodbye, Amber. You're very good at, at scavenging. I think you guys will both be all right, and I'm just so thankful that they're all right. For having had such hardship, these two have grown up extremely well, and I think I have a lot of confidence in them. I think they can both find their way in, in the world. And they are sticking together. It looks like they're heading in the same direction. And so hopefully they'll stay together and help each other out a bit more before they head off on their own. And you guys will have the chance at the end of this episode to vote for which of them you would like to see be the one we follow in this story. Hopefully they don't run into that bear over there. Hopefully they'll be all right, but I, I'm sure they know he's there. <laughs> um, but you guys will have the chance to vote for which one you would like to follow. And make sure to look for that poll in the video description. For us, however, we're going to make our way to the tundra and cut back through there. And uh, we should be able to head, hopefully safely, to the, uh, uh back to the, um to the main den area where we can wrap up and uh, maybe I will make part of this journey well we, we still have time we still have a lot of time I won't I won't cut out any of the journey unless it starts going really long or whatever um, here we go it's not dark so that's good it's when it gets dark that it means bad things are happening and we're gonna just keep making our way back and see if we can find any food along the way. I will run. Oh, here's rabbits. If we can catch a rabbit, I will not complain. Hey, you're actually going the way we need to go for once. All right, let's stop and eat. If we can keep our stamina up, that's what I really want to do. <laughs> um, and I think that'll be a good thing. If we can continue to make it back. Let's stop and see. There's deer up here, so if we're careful and time it well, we should be able to hunt some of them. We are quite fast when we run. We cover a lot of ground, so that's a really good thing. I'm going to stalk these guys kind of carefully, see if we can maybe bring one down on the way back. They're actually heading sort of towards us, kind of off to the side, so we're going to inch our way this way and see if we can sneak up to them from over here. If they run, we're going to have to sprint for it. But I think we can get a little closer before we have to do that. And I'm watching them carefully. I love the detail, how you can see some of them have antlers, some of them don't. And you, you can just see that level of detail. Oh, we got so close. Oh, that was perfect. They did not see us coming. Kind of amazing that they didn't, because Dove kind of does stand out here. She's... Definitely made for winter camouflage, but uh, nevertheless, very, uh, very, very good. That was a very easy kill, and um, a lot easier than a lot of the other incidences we've had with deer. So let's continue to run this way, and I think if we just keep going this way, we should... Yep, here we are! We're actually about to enter the den area, and I think we should be alright. We just need to make it back now. I think we'll be okay, though. I'm pretty sure that... Uh, I don't think much can happen to your lynx, actually. I, I don't think it's necessarily even possible for you to die. I think usually the consequence of you, quote, dying 
is that something happens to a kitten, and that can be pretty bad. What? Worn and weary, she hastens to the den, her home now vast and empty. Oh, I forgot we had that little, uh, I had forgot we had this bit, and it startled me a little. All right, let's run across. We should be all right. We do kind of have to cross through the area. Where is our den? Is it? It's up here. We kind of have to cross a little bit through the area where there can be fires, I think. Or I think that might actually be over there. I think, I'm pretty sure there is an area, whoa. Mouse left, oh, mouse left a drink because we haven't done that before. We can get a drink, kind of dirty looking water, but um, I think it'll help us a little bit. I think it's actually over here that the fires can happen in the birch woods. I, th I think, but uh, I don't know, I don't know for sure if they can or can't happen if you don't have kittens. Uh, that's the one part of this game that we've never actually seen is a fire. We just, I, I don't know, I don't know why we haven't seen them. <laughs> uh, we just never quite seem to be in the right place at the right time for them to happen. But anyway, I'm not sure I really want to get caught in one right now if it does happen. So let's just book it back to the den and uh, finish off this litter and we will have to bid farewell to Dove and she's been through so much. It's honestly amazing how much she survived and how much she's gone through. She has been so strong through all of this. And uh, I think, you know, it's kind of a funny twist, a uh, funny twist of fate in many ways the, that the kitten who is known for being weak has grown up to be so strong. And uh, I, I don't know, I always find those beautiful little twists, I, I just find them amazing. Oops, not what I meant to do, I meant to eat. Uh, we kind of skidded past the rabbit as we were running. Um, but yeah, I always find those kinds of twists to be some of the most stunning and some of the most beautiful. Uh, but it is going to be time to bid farewell to Dove, and we'll have to see who she finds when, uh, when she heads out, because... I, I, I personally, I'm of the opinion that it can be different for every Lynx. It really just depends. Um, but I'm really curious to see if it might be her brother, because I can very much imagine that she and Bear might reunite after, um, after even after some time apart. That's kind of ironic. Her brother's name, who protected her so much, is named Bear, but we struggled so much with the very animal he was named after. And aww... It's always so sad to see the mother alone at the end of all of this because it's just, you get so used to having the kittens and then it just feels empty <laughs> and very lonely. Uh, but the next chapter of her story, whatever that may be, is about to begin. Here we go. She's going to head off into the night and we'll have to see who she may find. I just, I say this every time, but I love the constellations. They're just so pretty. They really are. They're just so, so pretty. But it's time again to follow the stars and to return to that, uh, that special meadow. I, I don't know, is it far away? It's a little bit far away. But uh, we shall see. We'll make our way through the night and see what we shall find. And I believe this coming litter, whoever whoever we follow, I believe that litter will actually be the last one of the season. Uh, already, it's gone so fast, but already we're almost, we're, we're more, much more, we're about, I think we're about four-fifths of the way through, I think. We're on episode 16 out of 20, and I just, it's, it's gone by so fast, it always does. Uh, but don't worry, this will not be the last we see of Shelter 2, I think. You guys seem to like the series, so we'll, we will be t returning to it at some point in the future. Uh, but we will be giving it a bit of a break so that some of our other series can have a chance. And here we go. Let's see who she finds in the darkness. And the, the light of the fireflies up here. It's so pretty. I love the ambience in this game. Just... All of it, really. The environments and the style of the game is just so absolutely beautiful. It, it's really amazing. It, it just really is. And it's interesting because I always look to see if I can see where the other Lynx is in this. 
but it's actually really hard to see. Oh, there, I think. It, uh, mm -hmm. it tends to be really hard to see them until they get close, but I do see movement this time. And here we go. Who is it going to be? Who is it going to be? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Is that... I think that might... I'm not sure if that's a brown-colored lynx or dark-colored lynx, but you know what? I think that might be her brother. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. I think this might be Bear, and look how big he is. I just... It, in any case, it feels so fitting that they would be the ones to end up together again in the end, because they were so close to each other through the uh, through all of their story. It, would, it seems fitting that he would come back for her. And uh, as she continues on out of our sight, um, but what do you guys think? What, who do you think this is? Is this Bear? Is this someone else? Uh, who do you think it is? And uh, is it, could this be a new mate? Is this an ancestor? What do you guys think? Um, in any case, this is going to be where Dove's story passes from our sight. And there's a lot of interpretations on what that means. Some of you guys think that it does mean she's passed away, and this is kind of her going into some sort of Link's afterlife. And some of you guys just mean that, think it means maybe she's finding a new mate, or maybe it's reuniting with a lost family member. Or whatever it may be, it is time for her story to close. And uh, whether it goes on here or whether this is where it actually ends for her, at least on this world, is um, it, in any case, it's not. We're not going to see her again. Um, and that is always kind of bittersweet because, especially her story, has left me with so much hope in that. In the very beginning, it almost looked like she was going to be the end of the legacy, that maybe none of her kittens would survive, but she got through it. They all did, and that's just such a powerful story for me that I, I always love stories of overcoming. <laughs> I really do, um, and uh, in any case, it leaves me with a lot of hope. It's always kind of bittersweet because you do know you're not going to see them again, and you do know that... You get close to them as you play as them, and as you watch their story unfold. But at the same time, I always feel like this is just one chapter. Her story will go on, but just out of our sight. And I always love how it says here at the end, special thanks to all mothers. I just think that's so touching. And I know I have so much to thank my own mom for. Uh, but anyway, this is going to be where we wrap up this episode. Don't forget to check the video description for a poll. You'll be voting between Amber and Acorn as to which will be continuing the story with. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.